Welcome to Zurich Electronics. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the current if there are three resistors in a given circuit, that is three parallel resistors. So, let's consider a circuit. We have three 1 ohm resistors. These three resistors are connected in parallel. All of these resistors are 1 ohm. Let 12 amps current be entering into the network. Definitely 12 amps should come out. Now, by looking at this circuit, and with our logical thinking, we can say the current flowing through 1 ohm resistor is 4 amps. Current flowing through next 1 ohm resistor is 4 amps. And one more resistor, 4 amps. So 12, amp, 12 amps of current divided between the 3 resistors. Now what happens? If this resistor is 1 ohm and the next resistor is 20 ohm and the other resistor is 30 ohm, this logical thinking is difficult. So for that we have an equation. Any we I'll write the equation. That is we have to use this equation that is I1 equals 1 upon R1 divided by 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So we have to use this equation. Something else also I have to write that is the total value of this you should multiply it by the, the total current. So similarly we can write for I2, I2 equals 1 upon R2 divided by all divided by the 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 and the whole Multiply the whole thing multiplied by that is the whole thing multiplied by total current I T. Similarly, we can write the I3 also. I3 also now I hope you understood how to write I3. Then also I will write it here. That is I3 I3 equals 1 upon R3 all thing divided by 1 by R1 sum of remain 1 of R1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 then you have to multiply with the total current that is IT. Let's take another example. So here we have three resistors I1 that is 20 ohm, 25 ohm and 100 ohm. So what is the current, let like the current flowing through 10 ohm will be I1, I2, I3. Once you know the current flowing through two resistors, no need to find the third one, e, U. You will get it. If you subtract from the total current, you will get it. So here, first let us calculate I1. I1, what is the equation for I1? I think we will start from the right side. That is I1 equals 1 upon R1 upon 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. The whole thing multiplied by the total current IT. Now let's put the values. 
that is I1 equals 1 upon 10 divided by 1 upon R1 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 25 plus 1 upon what is R3? 100 all things multiplied by what? 15 amps that is a current so which equals so the denominator we have to apply the LCM once you apply the LCM what you get you get 15 upon 100 denominator once you apply the LCM we get 15 upon 100 the numerator it is 1 by 10 and the whole thing multiplied by 15 15 amps Now here the numerator, the denominator 10 and 100 we can cancel. So what we get which equals, what we get 1 upon 1 divided by 15 upon 10. 15 upon 10 we can write it as, let it be 15 upon 10 multiplied by 15 that is in the numerator. Now what we do? 1 upon 1 multiplied by 10 upon, I am just simplifying it, 15 multiplied by 15. So 15, 15 cancels. So we will get 10 amps. So I1 we got it as 10 amps. So I hope all of you know how to take the LCM. Next what we want is I2. So what is I2? I2 equals to same equation. Now I will put the values directly. First I will write the equation 1 upon R2 upon 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. All things multiplied by I2. Now Already we found what is there in the denominator, 1 upon R1, that value we got. What was the value? It is 15 upon 100. What the, now, numerator, 1 upon what is R2, 25. And multiplied by what is the total current? 15 amps, which equals this 25 and 100, which we can divide by 25. So, we will get 4, 15 upon 4. Now 1 upon 1, 15 upon 4 if I take to the numerator, it is 4 upon 15 multiplied by 15. 15, 15 cancels. So what do you give? We got 4 amps. Now I3 we need not to find. We know I1 was 10 amps and I2 4 amps. I3 has to be 1 amps. But let us calculate. For only for this one, this problem, let us calculate. That is I3 equals 1 upon R3 all thing divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus plus okay plus 1 by R3 the whole thing you have to multiply by what total current that is I T. So I3 equals what you get? 1 upon R3, 1 upon 100 and the after LCM we know what is, what is the value of the denominator that is 15 upon 100 multiplied by 15. So 100, 100 cancels then what do we, what we are left with? 1 upon 1 in the numerator then 15 divided by 1 goes up, we will take the inverse and multiply 15 multiplied by 15. I hope. Uh, you will understand this because not a complicated one, simple multiplication. So you get one as now. Now total what is the current? Four amps plus one amp, five amps plus ten amps, so fifteen amps. So we have solved the problem. Let's take one more example. Problem. This is a second problem. Here we will find just two currents. What is I one? I1 equal to 1 upon R1 
divided by 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. What you get? Total multiplied by the, you have to multiply with the total current. So here which equals, what is R1? 1 kilo, that is 1 upon 1, all thing divided by 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 10, that is 10 kilo ohm. We need not to convert it because we are going to get the current in milliamps only. 1 upon 50, which equals on the total multiplied by the total current, that is 12 milliamps. Milliamps I am not writing. We know we are going to get only in milliamps, which equals. So 1 upon 1, if you simplify LCM, what you get if you simplify this LCM, I have already solved. So now I know it is going to get, let me check it, what is the LCM I got? 55 upon 50. 55 upon 50. And that one multiplied with the total current, total milliamps. So 1 by 1 is 55 upon 50. I will take inverse and write it, multiply it. So 50 upon 55 multiplied by 12. So what we get? 12 multiplied by 50 upon 55. 55, no, sorry, 56, okay, it is 56. 56. So which equals, what we get? We get 10.714 milliamps. Okay. Now, the remaining two, I2 and I3, you can solve it. I2, we get it as, I will write it here, I2, we we'll get it as 1.09 milliamps. And I3, we we'll get it as 0 0.21 milliamps. So, this problem, you please solve yourself. Any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Now, I hope. Now you know the equation to solve three resistors in parallel whenever you want to find the current we use these equations and just simplify it nothing else we have to use the equation that's all so if you like the video please share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching